KSM Show. My name is Dr. Darius Osei, the CEO of University of Ghana Medical Center. Keep watching KSM Show, the king of prime time. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And, um, in the house today is, uh, what you, your, your, I almost say civilian name. Your, your non-chief name is Leo Amisa? No, um, actually I was born Leo Mensa Amisa. Leo Mensa Amisa. Right. Okay. Just that for Chief Tansy sake, and when I got awakened, I had to take away the Leo because that is a slavish name. Mm. And now call myself Wakatechi Efifa Mensa. Mm. So my mm. father's name is Michael Leo Mensa, but okay. I have to call myself Efifa Mensa. The Efifa, I got it from my uncle, lawyer Yawahim Kure Efifa. Okay. Um, me and I, but I just liked how courageous he is and all that, so I had to take his name. Okay. And lawyer Efifa. Lawyer Efifa. Former DC of a Jusu Jabe oh, during okay. the Kufos era. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, so that's your uncle? That's my uncle. Okay, okay, okay. Any relation? Is that the, that the free fire linked to the soldier man as well? I think the misconception has been that anybody called the FIFA comes from Mampo. Okay. Though okay. Mampo and Niagonadi are the same. Okay. But uh, he only popularized the name of FIFA. Okay. But the FIFA is the Bibriwa. Bibriwa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Okay, the chief Frifa. A Frifa Mensa. A Frifa Mensa. Okay, Mensa Kadino. A Frifa ni ye, uncle. Then Mensa is my father. Mm -hmm. So now it's hyphenated. Mm -hmm. All my kids are going to bear the name of Frifa Mensa instead of Leo Mensa, which oh, used to be the family name. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. We're going to get back. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. But let, take me small to your childhood because when I was reading your 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 your, your short profile, right? A few things that I thought are quite interesting. Number one, you call yourself. Or you say I should call you young KSM. <laughs> <laughs> when I see your profile, I saw that you went to the same primary school too. I was at Ken USD primary. Right. Way before your, your father was born, I'm uh, sure. <laughs> no, my father was born in 1940. So oh, okay, okay. Way okay. before I was born. <laughs> he was born before you. <laughs> way before I was born is when you went to Ken USD. Okay, okay. So you went to Ken USD. What year were you there? Um, KNUST was 99, in fact, 98, 99. Okay, okay, okay. Not yet, chin chin, yeah, fine. From Bonfachiasi, I was born in Bonfachiasi. Okay. Um, that is on the stretch to Kumasi, before Sobidru Nobuem. There is a junction called Bonfa Junction. Okay. So I was born in Bonfa. Then when I got to class four, <clears throat> I was taken to uh, Swami, where I stayed there, and I went to St. George's International. Then I came to Kumase Bwedi to complete K okay. University okay. Uh, primary year. Okay. And then from there? Uh, from there, I came to University of Streetism. University of? Streetism. Streetism? And then I said, yeah, but I'm not the street anymore. Fine. <laughs> How long were you at the University of Streetism? Ah, well, I'm still not graduated. You still not graduated? Yeah, that's what But then now I'm in uh, Gempa. I was Gempa, I was in public administration, after which I will proceed to do masters in international relations and diplomacy. Mm. Mm. But now you're on radio anyway. While you're studying at Gempa, you're on radio. Right. And uh, we'll get to how you get to, got on radio too. But when did you start detecting that you have an interest for radio? I think this whole spirit of wanting to do radio might have started in my younger age because me and me and me and say when I was young at the age of three people would come home and say you be team penis really yes in boom finds him I'm shopping anymore by the time you realize people will be sitting there to listen to you more quite full my own but in a whole air train set make us have more money and what did you didn't know what I mean in my kind of America but no so be team penis and I can remember say boom for him until today. Hey, you're just in a banana and penin someone and that's how he she refers to me till today. And to name him the maker. But when I went to KNUSD, mm -hmm. my bigger sister, Nani Kunone or Hinijan, lawyer or Hinijan. Okay. So at least I was showing interest. Oh, Minya Radio Amaya, Minya Radio Amaya. Nobody minded me. Then when I got to Accra during the hustling days, my better than Accra, I mean when you may then I realized, okay, I'm the first radio. Now, I'm a girl be lying. And you may be, then there's this small speakers that you can fix um, memory chip mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. So as we were talking, I was putting the speaker down, raising it, and speaking to the girl like, 
I'm on radio. In summary, any mommy boy and coma. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> then the girl said, uh, Are you working on radio now as we speak? And I'm saying, No. I said, So what, what are you doing? And I'm saying, No, I'm just turning the speaker and speaking to you. Or say, I'm a penny, I'm out there. Unless I'll call for a year radio school. Who be chile me say wako radio school and me. Obama wa yene lai no. Aye, oka ane Saturday. Monday na mi jena wabu def radio academy. Oko school. Aye, so me jena wabu def radio academy. That's quite yeah. interesting. Yeah, so I went to wabu def with Tommy Allen Fawson. Tommy Allen Fawson. Yes. Mm. So the, 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 the lady insisted, sir, if anything is going to continue with them, you and her, you have to go to radio school? The irony bit of it is that I have never set eyes on her till today. Once you say that, yeah, Nana Masapo. Me, she, how can you know her? Me, Kai, do you know her? Oh, simply I'm so content to Nana. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure. Me, you know, but we're about to go there. Me, you know, Mr. Astor, you read it. Oh, you know, Mr. Astor, you know, my catch it. Nana Masapo. Nana Masapo, Tema. Tema. Yeah, me, who only say that? Nami me, Nana, lie. We've been a lengthy year, Nana, me, Nana, lie. So, I'm getting far. Okay, so I'm going to go radio school, but right after that, yeah, yeah, in common, I try. Wow. Yeah. No, no, what you school now? You, were, were you linked with her? Or well, I said now you didn't come about. Say sometimes we were bad like I never check. Now say I'm from far away. I'm right to me. Jana say mano. Yeah, na na no, na no. Mo tu asu chesa yeah yeah. Yeah, I say yeah. Exactly. Na mi jai. But uh, I still remember she actually encouraged me to go to school. Really? Yes. And then she just disappeared. She disappeared. So, right. Mm. But what happened was that after the school, I didn't know what to do with the radio. Uh, when your certificate, you know, I see a big more radio, so now I problem. So I started recording myself and sending broadcast message to people via WhatsApp. Then when they asked so me, you, you, you're recording yourself as, recording as, if, you're on radio. as if I'm on radio, using okay. my home theater okay. set. At that time, I was living in Taifa. Okay. Using my home theater set, then I will start you, recording myself. Really? What topics there. would you talk about when you're doing this? Uh, well, any topical issue, not my fire, not my come out when they said the me. Then I send it to people, short clips like uh, one minute, two minutes, not my Sunday. Then when they ask me, ah, which radio station are you working for? Uh, I lie that I am actually working with Nana Kwabina Bobiansa. <laughs> at that time, he was at Agu FM. <laughs> not my catch him, so, so when he is not there, I send him. Make a send him. Really? Yeah. Bobiansa, no, no. Bobby a very good friend of oh, It's a good friend. A okay, friend okay, 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 okay. So Bobby who said yeah, you know. This is <laughs> <laughs> if you are listening, this is what is that. So you you be learning, oh no, I work with Bobby and saying things. So through that But the important thing is that mm. when you're sending your messages on WhatsApp, mm. it mm. was getting attention? It was getting attention marvelously. That is how come uh, Mr. David Winkot of Outlines and Pages actually contacted me and said, Ah, Charlie, you might not you know, go near solid. So I want to work with you this time, but on TV. Then I started a show called In Tua Tua on GH1. Uh, so through that, Mr. Devinoko got me. We did it for like a year. Wow. Then I said to myself, I don't want to do it again. The reason being that I was conveying a message to the people, mm. but because it was done in a comical way, they were enjoying the comical bit of it yes. without listening to, to the their message. message. So I said, let me rebrand. Then I rebranded in 2016. I resurfaced as a Okatechi instead of in Wow. Yeah. Wow. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is, this is something I, 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 I want those, the youth listening to take, to, to take note of. Mm. You know, your passion, mm. even though you were not on radio, you're recording yourself and putting it out there. Right. And out of that, you have landed a job. Mm. You went to GH1. I went to GH1. And now. You're, you're now Happy FM. Happy 98.9. Yes. And that's that's where I, I think I picked some of your shows. And um, uh, tell them when you're on. What time? Monday to Friday? Monday to Friday from 1 to 5. Four okay. hours in a day. Okay. Okay. So those of you who are watching now, unfortunately, you can't catch him tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday. But Monday to Friday, he's on. So now, let, let, let's just... Let's, let's, you call your show the emancipation? The what? show is actually a pahua da bain. A pahua da bain. If not now, when? Mm. So court duty. But as part of the show, I decided to emancipate the minds of the people. So emancipation is a segment on the show. 
Okay, 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 okay. What is this preoccupation with emancipating the minds? That's what I want to get into. Be before I get there, let me just uh, add this. When I came to Accra, Ababone uh, diye chinchina. I mean, meba hame home inu yaba kwa hondo ni. Ababone diye chinchini ya ya da kios mu pe ya da uncompleted body mu. Enkra hame se baby ami nyanti na yeni ebi ya mpona no hono. From Adenta to Odoko to Pukwase to Kwabenya uncompleted building to Mile Seven Tantra Taifa Spring Test Spot M. Matsena baby baby, and the reason was that you be drunk right now. Now, you know, growing up, any rebellious child like myself is seen as a deviant. And the family member be an shadam person no better. What's that? Ha. And the mama say, "I'm not afraid to be a cobra." Shuba no beba. Then they make koya ni apamu, make koya ni apamu. Then I had to find my way onto the street. So me ba akra, wa fubi ani baby ya. When I got on radio, I realized that Ghanaians have dependency mindset. Dependency. So I had to help them get away from that. So they can do things for themselves. Define it. Now when I say dependency mindset, I've said this over and over. Whoever took us away from slavery said we've gained independence. But what they did not realize is that we only gain physical independence, but that of the mind we haven't. Mm. So I always liken it to say, oh computer. Satan near where to copy. Uh, I know near Windows XP. Yeah, yeah. Then we've migrated to flat screens. Mm -hmm. But you have Windows XP in the bedroom. Now you migrate here with Windows 10, Windows 12, other do Android version. So if you take people away from slavery, physically you've changed them to flat screen. But mentally, which is the software of the people, is still if there. you don't touch it and migrate it from a Windows XP to Android, you've done nothing. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. computer needs to want to say, the demo no yet to the Yeah. Though it looks nice, yeah. but the performance of the computer won't be the same. Okay. It may be what I mean. Say you are migrating from a Windows XP to Android version. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you are concerned with the operating system. <laughs> operating system. <laughs> you are concerned with the operating system. Very much. Mm -hmm. But let me be careful, you. Um, people of your age. Oh. Medium, medium. Right. It's it's more like light, light-hearted, the fun stuff, the things you enjoy that you can laugh. You know, uh, yeah, some like you, but I don't see so many people who are concerned about emancipating their mind. All right. On a mission, where has your motivation come from? Udenifi, uh, I just say it has become your concern for somebody in your age group. Well, I do bakwa me ni na me bana me pese me huno. Uh, uh, so far, mm -hmm. is the people holding leadership accountable. We've been made to believe, sir, one, we are young, mm -hmm. life begins at 40. Your cancer has been made, but you can't ask one question. What is life begins at 40? I mean, what are you saying? So from 1 to 40, mm -hmm. I should be moving around aimlessly? Yeah, no. that's a good point. When it gets to yeah. 20, you can make all the mistakes. Yeah. When it gets to 30, it is about correcting the mistakes. Then when it gets to 40, now you can say it's about correcting mistakes in your So life actually doesn't begin at 40. It begins from one. Mm -hmm. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, life begins at 40. You are telling me to waste 39 years of my life, and when I get to 40, I begin to live life. Now, I know, sir, leadership. I've said this thing. The problem of this continent and this country it's only three. Mm -hmm. One is leadership. Mm -hmm. Two is leadership. And three is leadership. The only reason I say leadership is the problem of this country and the continent at large mm -hmm. is that God has given us everything we need. In fact, the continent Africa has 60% of the world Arabo lands. 60%. Mm, 60%. Maybe <laughs> As we know, can say it is projected so by 2025, the continent is going to import food to the tune of 110 billion US dollars. Mm. So, if we have leadership who sit on 60 percent of the world arable lands but still import food to the tune of 110 billion, then there's a problem. Mm. 
If you have leadership who are so distant from the people, and for that matter, they sit on 33% of the world natural resources, talk of diamond, gold, but they decide nothing, including the price of these things, then there is a problem. Mm. So, mm. Mr. Wesman, I'm saying, I have to awaken the people so the people can now hold their leadership accountable. Mm. I have said this thing and I'll say it again. The only reason Ghana and Africa is very peaceful is because the people do not understand what is going on around them. The very day they get to understand, say, Obi a wotu wa bama ano enra. Okoba e ya wati viyetim. Na wuyo da so na mfomwa. There will be a chaos. Hmm. There will be problem. The only reason Ghana is enjoying peaceful environment is that the people do not understand. It will know na yesi sinu hunu empina. Ah, we na bubo su we na bo. And we cannot. We cannot continue. So I'm trying to awaken the people to now hold their leadership accountable. That is all right. Let me put it another way. Right. You are now trying to. So in a sense, right. You want people to become aware so that they can rout and well, disagree. Well, not rout per se, but they do sounds one guy yeah, but because maybe like I said, so I could say Oslo and I see a quality be aswa. Yeah, you cannot play the neutral journalism by saying, say, "Oh, I am reporting it just as it is." Oh yes, are you on the side of Oslo? So now, when government refuses to honor the bargain of the social contract, you cannot sit on radio and say, say be a neutral journalist. You're on the side of government. In this case, the people have honored their part of the social contract. So the preamble of the constitution says, we the people mm -hmm. of Ghana mm -hmm. in uh, inalienable rights. That means one, social contract. If you must move here, see car, Modibeka to me no. Now, what do you develop it or mine? No, you have the sense of Canada, but through taxes and go for the view or Modia. A do or son on the dear so, which is the abine. Abine is a moment in the area. I'm going to provide a year social amenities like water, hospital, road for you. Say, be a jar will be a uncle, and if you acquire a dining moon, committing the a yes, a man's car, so. But you see, it is a kind of man buying, not buying a barbie. Now, you know what these people don't see, say, they are supposed to be servants of the people. Then all of a sudden, they become demigods. We don't talk about what they do. Or more talk, cars, like I say, no more team, or more call hospitals. And the leadership is so distanced from the people. Mm. Mm. And I've said this the only reason I'm on radio doing what I'm doing is that I cannot continue to sit down and watch leadership which is so distanced from the ordinary people. Mm. So I'm awakening the people to either join the leadership at the top or the leadership will get to the ground and work with the people. That's Put all. Put your hands together. <laughs> so, well, that's okay to share and a free from Mensa. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, there's more to talk about, man. And you just stick around. We'll be right back. ASM show. Crick is zero five five zero three nine five zero zero seven.